Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. In the last episode, we beat level 3. I can't think today. Um, also, off screen, I went and healed and bought another stat booster. It's one that gives all, all your stats 10. And uh, just to give you an idea of what kind of stats we're looking at right about now, got about 50 to every stat, so gonna take it a little easy, probably get one after each level. That seems about right. That way things aren't too hard, but they're not completely easy either, if you know what I'm talking about. So with enough talk, let's start level four. Transit. Summertime blues, follow that ninja chip. Uh boss music? Okay. Watch out for the roller skate girls, they will hurt you just like that. It's not very fun. Come here. This guy looks like a band or something. But you can hear. Jerk. Not dead yet? No, you're not dead. I'll jump over my attack. I guess I watch out for the roller skate girls. They will screw you up just like that. Oh, not like that. Still, are really? Arg! I hate when enemies throw items like that. Oh my god. And yes, they can hit other enemies as well. I wish they would have hit that enemy this time. I do not want to stop walking. I think I start I do need to block a little more myself. Join! Uh, there. Turn around for a little more. And the train will open up. Because of her. And I climb on top of it and it stay in reverse. Much. Uh, you can knock enemies off, and that will instantly kill them. Uh, you don't get that money though. Is this steel bad or is it just me? It looks like a steel bat. I don't know if that's a tender or not, but. But it is, that's kinda cool. I just love that sliding thing, it's just so useful. <laughs> Don't fall off yourself though. That's always fun. Oh well. That's kinda useless. Oh, ninjas! Totally forgot about them. Their <laughs> swords get bent. Kind of horrible, won't you think about that for a little bit? We're right here for a little bit longer. And look who it is! Wrecking havoc once again. Oh well. That didn't sound very good. Alright, we're in the frying penguin. Probably one of my favorite songs in the game as well. Ow! I know I'm on fire, but come on, don't make it don't make a reality out of that. Is this uh oh, okay. that's just a breakable though. Nothing useful out of him. But yeah, this is a very good song in my opinion. One of my favorite songs in the game. And who knew ninjas were susceptible to their own weapon? Okay, yeah, that's the grab. That's actually a very useful uh, combo. Game? It's a useful combo. I don't use it often, but other people might. 
can, uh, when you get close to them, you can grab them. I don't, I think there's some enemies you can't grab, though. Well, I, yeah, you can grab bosses. But, uh, if I can pull it off here. Not with a weapon in hand, no. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll show it eventually. That was dumb. Whoever thought of the idea of fat ninjas. Oh, there we go. I grabbed it. We just repeatedly punch her. It's sort of like the, uh... Hyper attack? You know what I mean? But it's not infinite, though. Or it doesn't last as long as it is. Ugh. Seriously? Seriously? Don't stun me! Apparently those guys can stun you. I didn't know that. And that's right, it's not a healing item. It's an attack item for some reason. I don't know why. But it's kind of hilarious. Ah! No! Fireballs. Not yum. <laughs> Ow. Fire hurts. These guys will just usually hop up on top of the fire and kill themselves. They only have one HP. Since actually being kind of smart about it. Break these as fast as possible. You can do it within time limit. Couple more here. You get ten bucks out of it. Very, very nice present for that. You know, watch out for these ninjas, they will screw you up if you're not careful. And you get Shirk and dudes who will uh, just come in and do a little bit of damage in the field. Ow! You can also throw them when you, er, yeah, you can throw them when you have them grabbed. So yeah, now there's pits around here, and you gotta be careful of that. That's cool, like, most of them fell in there. Yeah, so you can throw them. It's pretty cool. So those dark patches are actually holes. And the AI are good about staying away from them most of the time. Uh, yeah, that was a store, it just sells food, nothing big. But right here, go through here, and we get another subspace highway. Much needed one, too. But, uh, can I actually, yeah, just pass on through? No point on doing anything here. Don't really need money at this point. All right, we're in the in the gardens here, and I'm immediately getting destroyed by ninjas. <sighs> wow! All right. Come on, control stick, work with me here. There we go. Yeah, you got plenty of money. I freaking hate those ninjas. They, I really hate them. They're, fireballs just make it all the more worse. We're not playing Street Fighter. You are not Ryu. Stop it. Seriously. Ugh. That's kind of cool. Kill by throw. Ugh. I apologize for any... Uh, capture card problems at this point. Not any later. What am I talking about? Ow! Why did I throw that myself for? What, what was that about? Uh, now, some enemies do have weapons, and they can block with those weapons, but most of the time... Uh, oh, well, I know how. If an enemy starts with a weapon, they can block with it. Usually. But if an enemy has to pick up a weapon, I don't, I don't think they can ever block it. So, it's good to know. And then, subspace highway we have to go through. Which, is, if you can barely see that, I don't know if you can, uh, 
or not throughout the recording, but when the door opened up, the white was actually binary. It was all ones and zeros. I think it's kind of a nice touch, actually. It's kind of cool. So, moving on through here, we're going to be thrown right into Ramona's backyard. And that means we're fighting the fourth evil ex-boyfriend, Ramona Richter. Who is a chick, not a dude. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be some sick joke, or what happened there. But this is her fourth evil boyfriend. And I completely died. Uh, if you die, you don't have an item. Um, you, you may have some uh, guts points left over. And that'll keep you alive for a little bit longer. That'll bring you back up. But if you go down and you don't have any guts points, you will lose a life. And I'm getting my butt kicked by it, by the way. This is just so hard. I didn't mean to let go of B. Okay, I did there, but that was just bad timing on my part. Ha, hmm. ah, take a turn up. Ah, easily one of the harder bosses. She's just annoying. But she has animals as money for some reason. Not sure why. So there we go, the fourth stage. Very, very interesting. I, I, I still don't get it, but whatever. Not sure how that works either, but again, whatever. <laughs> Story doesn't quite make a game. Gameplay makes a game. Anyway, that's all for the fourth stage, and that's all for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we take on stage number five, which is not only all that spooky, but it is a Halloween party. So, I'll see you guys then.